So if we look at our history, what we ate, how we lived, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual stressors, we look at our digestion, nutritional intake, liver function, I mean, it goes on and on. That's our internal reserve capacity. And, of course, we have an external reserve capacity, which is a little bit further on the next page. And we want to preserve our internal capacity, protect the internal environment, but also protect our body from the external environment. One of the most important parts of this, and you can read all the other stuff, I would say is endogenous and exogenous toxins. Now, according to Ray Pete, he believes that radiation, polyunsaturated fatty acids, that's PUFAs, estrogens, and dioxins, dioxins are like environmental toxins, you could throw in heavy metals to this for sure, and fluoride, I forget exactly how much, but it's a super minuscule amount of fluoride, can actually shut the thyroid down. And Lita Lee talks about this. So all these things are basically toxic to the thymus, external to internal. They stimulate viruses. They modify the hormonal response, which alters the immune system function. That's the most important thing. And they actually modify the response um, down at the cell level, and we'll talk about that balance between pre- and post essence. So if you're not given a lot of pre essence, you actually have to live a healthier life to jolt up your post essence to counterbalance your weak pre essence. You know, so it's really just finding a balance whether you look at it from that energetic perspective or you look at it from more of a uh, immunological perspective or just a, you know, real life perspective. It's really finding the balance between both the internal and external environment. Now, if we look at disease, just kind of going through the pathogenic process. We could call it from inflammation, disease, death, symptoms, whatever. And this is so you get a better understanding of maybe where you're at, clients at, friends are at. Most people go to the doctor, especially in the U.S., when they have symptoms or disease, right, especially if you're a guy. You know, if you're a guy, the only way you're going to the doctor is if your right arm's falling off and, unfortunately, your genital is not working. That's the only reason you go to the doctor, or unless your wife literally drove you there. But we begin in the state of homeostasis. This is basically a balance between internal and external environment. That's where we want to be. That's what the body, that's what we said at the beginning that Ray P said, to balance between what's being broken down and what's being built up. That's homeostasis. Once we have a stress, whatever it may be, it could be anything because a stress is a stress, we start having pathophysiological changes. These are physiological changes in the body. And you know this because think about it when you maybe, you don't like to do public speaking and you get butterflies in your stomach. That's a pathophysiological change. When you get PMS, you're not supposed to get PMS, but when you get all those symptoms at specific levels, that's a pathophysiological change. Now, if we don't adapt to this and we don't listen to what our body's actually telling us, we actually go into what's called a pathomorphological phase. And pathomorphological is when we start to see changes in structure, changes in cell structure cell division, cell proliferation from estrogens and things like that. Um, bone spurs, you know, the building up of bone. Um, that's a protective response. So we start seeing pathomorphological changes. Now, if we don't adapt to that, we don't listen to our body. You know, I, I try, if I remember, to tell all my clients, you know, you have a specific radio station. And in healing, you, everything you've done, and essentially you're moving yourself away from your radio station. And what we're going to do is try to find what your radio station is by constantly fine-tuning your diet, fine-tuning your life and your nutrition to bring you closer and closer to your radio station. And in doing that, you create body awareness and you create self-listening to self. So you start to unwind those pathomorphological, pathophysiological.